been a long road for me to achieve this singular moment. Welcome to the moment. Welcome to your wedding. Circles within circles of love. From you, the rings of so much love all around the two of you. It is honor for each of us to be here, holding you in our hearts and witnessing your love for each other in this monumental moment. But I want to step outside and take it all in Cause baby it's like a light storm To be I was lucky enough to grow up with Amanda as my big sister. Everyone here probably knows that Amanda wouldn't hurt a fly. Whenever I try to describe her to people, there are so many words that come to mind. Sweet, funny, intelligent, deep, intellectual, full of charming quirks, also loyal and the most empathetic person. Amanda is one of the first people in my life who I felt like I could talk to openly about this and so many other things. This is partially because she did so much work on herself. I feel like the first time she came back from college, she truly metamorphosized into a butterfly from this cagey, depressed, black-wearing vampire that used to live in my house that I'd barely ever spoken to. <laughs> I think my daughter Amanda is the warmest, most beautiful, most genuine, most sincere, most holistic. She's the gal that others go to in trying times and say, Amanda, can you help me? She's just that person. Baby, it's like a light storm to be yours. Finding freedom in the downpour. You're like a light storm. David was always big hearted, sensitive, the arbiter of justice and fairness. I used to call it the David Neiman Fairness Doctrine. Anyway, he was a very big help. You all know what a character David is. He is a knack of those driving me crazy and making me laugh at the same time. I'm sure some of you know what I'm talking about. David has always had a posse of close friends from the time he was a little boy and this pattern never changed. We always had incredible friends, both male and female. Witness this amazing group of friends here and of course, lovely Amanda. The undeniable truth is really just how much you love and cherish and remain fiercely loyal to family. That mantle of the family man, like that, that's yours. You make our family stronger. David, you are the uniter of people. You build community around you. As Josh said, you pick and choose the all-stars in life and you make them your own. Uh, and it's just evident by this incredible group that we have here. You are such a dear friend to me. You are my counsel and my challenger. You're my fellow heartbroken mourner. You're my dinner date, <laughs> and you're my brother. I love you so much. I'm thankful for all the honey that you've given me all of these years. I have always been very concerned that David Neiman would be an eternal bachelor. Of course, everyone who meets David loves him until they don't. Uh, but I was always genuinely concerned that David would never find the love of his life, which I have always said to him. There was a conversation I remember a while back. Picture it. Pre-real estate, 2000-something. It was one of those, will I ever find my person? And I said, yeah, yeah, you'll find her. She's out there. She's just not with you right now, because you're stupid. But... I gave you I gave you as many details as in my heart I knew you're gonna be successful but it'll be like 40 45 and as I live and breathe Amanda appeared 
and it was right on time. And you and I both know that you and I are both never on time. She popped up on time. But then one day, uh, four years ago, David called me. Scotty, I think this one's for real. I think this might be the girl. When you cross that bridge, you are entering into your wedding ceremony. This is it. Are you ready for that? No. <laughs> Jump in the river. Did you think of any stressors that you've been carrying today? Bring those to the front of your mind. I want you to take a deep breath. And when you release that breath, release those cares, release those worries. Yeah. And now it's all about you. And it's all about Amanda. And it's about your love. And it's about the promise you're about to make. metaphorically lifted the veil to reveal Amanda and know that it is her that he has been searching for and that he will continue to search for. And Amanda has promised, if you didn't hear, <laughs> to always keep searching for David. We vow to honor each other's traditions and cultures and to care for the mystical third as earnestly as for the fruits of our union. May belief in combat give way to the understanding that the only victory is together. And may we trust each contribution to the relationship as an investment in and through ourselves. We surrender this love to a higher power, asking that it serve as a blessing upon the world. Proud as possible. I already am. Marriage is no joke. <laughs> <laughs> and to somehow love this beautiful, pleasant experience is more than just a pleasant experience. <laughs> and, and I see the way the two of you hold each other and acknowledge the pleasant and the unpleasant together. And that's what this is. Nothing, nothing in the world like the feeling of finding true love after you've already given up on it. It's astonishing and magical and somehow by the grace of the gods and goddesses we both get. To anyone who knows Amanda and David, it's clear. And they're not perfect, of course. David, as you know, we were all very uh, culture shocked when Amanda first brought you home. Um, <laughs> but I also see the way you guys look at each other, the way that you're always pushing yourself and each other towards self-improvement, and you really do make each other better. Today, we are writing the first page of a brand new chapter. Right now, page one, it's being written right now of a brand new chapter. 
and I love it because it's got like sunshine in the background and birds chirping and dogs barking and you know cats purring you but I'm so happy that you two found each other just two giant hearts the children that you will go on to have don't know how lucky they are I cannot wait to meet them and to see the beautiful life that I know you will build together. It should surprise no one to know that the first time I knew I was gonna marry you was at a fish show. <laughs> it was our second show together and it was the first time I heard the song Waste. You joked that I couldn't fall too in love with it because it was Heidi and Randall's wedding song. <laughs> and so we'd have to find our own. And somehow that joke opened up this energetic portal into a reality we hadn't yet earned, but for the first time realized we were gonna create. And it was this reality right now. But it's still also just so crazy to me that we're only now becoming husband and wife. At the heart of entering into marriage is that notion of struggle, of sickness and in health, in good times and bad. Because when I think about what we've already endured together, the heart-wrenching, month-long disappearance of my brother Andy, leading to his sudden death. Such um, an incredible honor to be sharing this role with Andy tonight. It was very important for both me and Josh to really hold Andy's presence today. Um, where are my Neiman Collingers? You guys truly took me into your family 25 years ago. And I just want you to know how important it is for me to hold Andy in my heart today. He is standing here by your side with both of you, with all of us in such a profound way. And it does seem oh so fitting that it takes two best men to fill the superhuman shoes of Andy. So I'm, I'm humbled and I'm in for the role. And I think about how incredible it was that you and Andy finally bonded on that five hour road trip when we dropped him off at that facility in Pennsylvania. I had spent days with him and had lost my ability to communicate because of how sick he had become. But you didn't. You were so open and, and curious and nurturing and mothering and kind. And it so perfectly encompasses what a remarkable woman you are. On that memorable afternoon, which poetically turned out to be the final hours on this earth that we ever spent with Andy. we've come to count on at our best and at our worst. When we reach for each other instead of our pride and vulnerably show each other how much we want this and choose each other again. Four years later, I can truly say that we earned it. It has been the best four years of my life and it's also been really hard work. <laughs> I've discovered that I'm a little crazy and you're completely out of your mind. <laughs> I'm so grateful to this enormous heart of yours for teaching me to love in ways I didn't even know I needed to learn. And I'm so excited to see what this wild, crazy life has in store for us starting today as a family. As the orchestra played, as you walked up the aisle to me, I won't give up on us, even when the skies get rough. 
that love warrior quality that you possess that has never been more important than these last couple of years. And it explains why you're so open to my faith and all people for that matter. And it's everything I need and our children need and the world needs now more than ever. Let's grow insanely old together, my love, through all of time, <laughs> through the hardships as we've just endured and the precious new gift coming sometime late next year or so. <laughs> so today, we're choosing each other in the biggest way possible. We're cashing in a million moments and asking the support of all of our friends and family to walk us through this definitive rite of passage. There are aspects of the choice for me that are extremely easy, the easiest choice I've ever made. Uh, I get a live-in entertainer. <laughs> I get the most productive taskmaster I've ever come across. <laughs> I get a partner in crime for all of my pickiest food neuroses and alcohol preferences. And I get this incredible community. But I'm also choosing to stand with you in your darkness, in your struggles, and to hold you with love and compassion as you continue to grow into the man that I know you already are. As I wrote in my song to you last night, I'll never understand the mysteries of this very mortal existence which means that I'm promising you forever and I don't know what that means. But I promise you my every effort to find those timeless moments of forever with you, minute by minute, and to love you for as long as I exist. Oh. <laughs> and I can't kiss her, right? right? <laughs> Never turn it down. It was amazing when I discovered that the meaning of, of David is beloved, and the meaning of Amanda is she who must be loved. <laughs> I'm not making this shit up. No. <laughs> and so I want to tell you guys that everything that's happened today and this weekend and the feeling of it, when you're living the day-to-day -day banality, you can turn to each other and behold the majesty of this love. It's mm. right there, mm. any moment. Mm. Get to kiss the bride now. Really? <laughs> <laughs> like now, now? What, to kiss? Yeah. To kiss? yeah, yeah Do you want joking. to? Yeah. <laughs> to the highest. Glass, and then we are going to celebrate the hell out of the two of them. <laughs> One, two, three. Jacket. I'm thinking so irrational. You flew me international now. And we can spend hours reading the signals, but that's so unoriginal. Today's weather was like so perfect. I mean, the temperature and the humidity and the breeze and everything else. And I just saw that as a metaphor for what it is your life together is going to be a glorious day such as today do me a favor bring us baby soon
Go, Amanda. Tell me, should I go and this is my number one adventure, buddy. And today, out in the woods, you said yes to the biggest adventure of your life. So please don't ever stop saying yes to adventure with David. David, I love you. You finally found your axis, Mundi. You found the center of your world. You found your little lightning rod. So hold on tight to this lightning rod and let her continue to ground you and give her so much love that it truly takes the entire world to support you. Told you I was ready right this minute Do you think that it would turn you on?